before hitting the play button did you remember to share this on your wall oh great if you did if you didn't it's not too late you can still do it please always remember these videos are educational they are designed to help as many people as possible and that can only be possible when many 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 people say if possible all the prospective applicants for jam offering maths should see this video so if you know or you think that they have not all seen it yet then please hit the like button and share the video on your wall because that could just make the difference between someone passing jam maths and failing it and moreover it doesn't cost you anything so please share it thank you for sharing here comes your video anyway A binary operation defined on the set of positive integers is such that x times y is equal to 2x minus 3y plus 2 for all positive integers x and y. The binary operation is a commutative and closed for the set of positive integers. B. Neither commutative or closed on the set of positive integers. C commutative but not closed on the set of positive integers d not commutative but closed on the set of positive integers so let us see how we will solve it this question will be taken by a member of the team who has worked with us right from the very beginning her name is jasmine and she's one that's going to handle this um, particular question it says a binary operation defined on a set of positive integers is such that x and y is equal to 2x minus 3y plus 2 for all positive integers of x. The binary operation, and then it gives you some options. Is it commutative and closed? Not commutative and closed? Not commutative, um, uh, but closed on the set of positive integers? Or, or a commutative but not closed on the set of positive integers? And so, essentially what you have to know is commutative and closed to be able to solve this. Um, so for a commutative, it's um, sort of related to the commutative property that we first learned in addition. Um, basically, what it means in this case is if you add x plus y, will you get back y plus x? Um, so here we have our equation. And let me make sure that you can see that. Okay. So we have y equals 2x minus 3y plus 2. So it's helpful if we just um, isolate the y variable so it's on its own and we don't have to think about it twice over in the equation. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to add 3y to both sides of the equation, and then you're going to take 4y is equal to 2x plus 2 divided by 4, and y is equal to 1 half x plus one half. So, now we have this version of the equation. And it's very intuitive to know that um, if I plug in a value for x um, and y, and I do it again in, in reverse, no matter which way I rearrange this equation, I'm going to get the same thing. So it is commutative. The other question is if it's closed or not. And so what that means in terms of binary operations is um, you get back the set uh, the numbers that you are working with. And so, um, if I was only working with the numbers 2, 3, and 5, um, if I plug these into my equation and I get back 2, 3, or 5, then it's closed. But if I plug these into my equation and get back like 7, then it's not closed because that's not defined in my set. And so, the question specifies that this equation is set on all positive integers. So uh, what that means is that if you put in positive integers, and uh, then you should get back uh, a positive integer 
as well. Now, the place where this question could go wrong is that um, you have halves in here, and the integers do not include halves or decimal numbers. And so I would say that it is not closed, um, simply for that matter, um, because you're not getting back positive integers, you're just getting back positive numbers that include fractions. Oh, welcome back. Did you enjoy this video as much as I did? Well, I hope so. And did you actually remember to share the video before you started? Well, in case if you did it, it's not too late, you can still do it. If you're watching this video on Facebook, please hit your share button so that other people can see it and enjoy it. And also, hit the like button. It costs you nothing. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please hit my subscribe button so that when I upload new videos, you'll be regularly updated. Thank you.